Hello, my name's David, and this time we're going to be using black and white as an adjustment. Now, I know what you're thinking. The start position that Affinity Photo have given us doesn't really work, but wouldn't it help speed up our workflow and improve our black and whites if we had a better start position? Let's take a look. We're gonna head down to the bottom of the layers panel, half black, half white icon for adjustments, coming up to black and white. And this is what I mean by the start position. Have a look at the color version. The shading we've got around the face, the cheek, the neck, down the arm here. As soon as you switch it on, everything becomes so much brighter. Okay, you can come to the sliders, you can make adjustments, for example, the reds and just taking the yellows down improves the face. But if we had a better start position, that would really increase our workflow. Plus, it'll give us a better black and white. So what I did is I looked back at a very old version of Photoshop that I've still got. And I had it set up completely differently. And what I did is I grouped colors together, red, yellow together, green, cyan together, and blue, magenta together. When I say group together, can't group the colors, but what we can do is we can group the numbers and then these form 100%. Let me show you what I mean. Coming back up to red, I'm just gonna highlight this and I'm gonna put in 40. Gonna press enter or return. Notice the way it puts in the percentage sign for us. I'm gonna come down to yellow. We're going to highlight this and I'm going to put in 60, giving us the 100%. Look at the difference that's made to the face already. Coming down to green, going to highlight the greens and I'm going to put in 40. Press enter or return. No change there. Cyan, yes, we will have a slight change with this. I'm going to put in 60. Press enter or return. The background darkened down very slightly as well as the denim on her jeans. Coming down to blue with this Keep an eye on the background. We're going to put in a different number. I'm going to change it to 20. Press enter or return. Coming down to magenta, we're going to make a change with this and guess what it's going to be? 80. And there it is. There is our new start position. Let's take a look. That's as we had before. This is what we've now got. It's going to make life so much quicker, so much easier. But before you do anything else, we're going to go up to add preset and it's asking us for a name. I'm going to call it something very simple. B slash W for black and white. Right. Click OK. I'm now going to go to delete. Now the presets you will find on your adjustment panel. I'm going to go down to black and white B slash W. Let's click on it coming over to layers. It's at this point you can make any changes should you want to. For example, let's just take a look at the reds. Do I need, and it's just a small amount. And you can just, this is what I mean. It's just moving it back and forth. It is fine tuning. Notice I've only taken it down just a few percentage. Gonna leave the yellows where it is. Let's have a look at the background. Perhaps making the background a little bit darker. So moving this to the left. And magenta, I had a feeling, yep, there it is, the lips. You can make the lips darker, the lips brighter. A few quick moves of the slider, job done. That's already looking pretty good. So let's click to accept it. We're gonna try it with a different image. So heading over to this one, we're gonna go back to our adjustments. I'm gonna to go to B slash W and it has done a really good job. In fact, I'm not gonna change it. I'm gonna leave this. But a trick that I love to use is if we head down once again to the adjustments, we're gonna to go to levels and taking a look at the levels, you can see there's a bit of a gap with the histogram. Looking at, I'm just gonna move it in very slightly into that area just to make sure we got the full range of pixels. I'm gonna change the blend mode to multiply. This is gonna give us a moody black and white. I'm gonna to come to the opacity slider, just dropping it down into this area here, taking it midway. You've also got the gamma slider. You can make it darker. You can make it brighter, entirely up to you. A few quick clicks, look what we've done. If I just click on the background, pressing command or control, switching it off, there's our color version. There's our moody black and white, and I think that looks really powerful as a black and white portrait. Let's have a look at a landscape. Once again, I'm gonna to go to adjustments and down to B slash W, and that looks pretty good. Let's just move it to the side. I'm gonna to go to layers. I think the only thing I need to change with this, I'm gonna come down to blue. I want to darken down the sky. So I'm gonna to come to the blue slider. If I move that, yeah, that's the sky, just moving it down into that position. I want a moody sky with this. That will do nicely. 
The only thing I'll do with this particular image is once again, I'll head down to adjustments. I always finish up with levels with an image whenever I've done anything with them. That way then you know you've got the full range of pixels. Looking at this, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna to go to the gamma slider, move it to the left, we can brighten it up, move it to the right, we can darken it down. I'm gonna make it just a bit more of a moody image, taking it into that area and I'm gonna click OK. Don't forget, you've got a mask with this. So if you want to bring back an area such as this here, you can just use a, a soft brush, very low opacity and bring it back. But there you are. That's a quick way that you can just improve your black and whites by changing the numbers that you put in, saving it as a preset. That way it'll just really speed up your workflow. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe, plenty more videos to come. Click that little bell icon. You'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.